Hey guys, welcome back. Today we discuss Brie Larson. Rumor has it none other than Captain Marvel herself, Brie Larson, is set to play Mara Jade in Star Wars. Yes, Mara Jade, the wife of Luke Skywalker and perhaps one of the most popular characters from the expanded universe. As Pirates and Princesses report, it's no secret that actress Brie Larson is a fan of Star Wars and has been trying for a while to land a role in the galaxy far, far away. She supposedly unsuccessfully auditioned for a role in The Force Awakens and has been begging, begging Kevin Feige, who's currently working on his own Star Wars project, for a role at Lucasfilm. Now, one major question comes to mind, one possible hiccup to this plan that frankly, she may be the one putting out there into the press. And that is, is Larson even considered capable of headlining her own major motion picture project at this point? After all, as pointed out here, she seems to be on her way out and Marvel with the recent announcement that what was supposed to be Captain Marvel 2 will now be released as the Marvels. It's also been revealed that she will not be the main focus, but instead one of many. Monica Rambeau and Kamala Khan are also confirmed to appear. With Brie's career in spandex seemingly in jeopardy, it's rumored that she may try to exchange her tights for a Jedi robe. Previously, Brie Larson was speculated to play the High Republic Jedi Avar Chris. And that rumor has been out there for some time, at least ever since people noticed the physical similarity between the two, but a recent report says that's not the case. Instead, they say she will dye her hair red to play the popular Legends character, Marge Jade. Notably, this would mean hiring a non-redhead to play a redhead. Hashtag Hollywood hates gingers. Now, We Got This Covered is also reporting on the rumor, but have added one additional detail, claiming that the 31-year-old is asking for $20 million to join the long-running sci-fi saga, but there's no sort of additional information about whether that's a lump sum or spread out over a multi-film contract or even what the projects would be, so it's probably best to take this entire thing with a huge pound of salt. After all, it's unclear how Mara Jade would even fit into the new Disney Star Wars canon. The sequel trilogy absolutely trashed Luke as a character, making him into a bitter hermit without a family of his own. So if this were to happen, it would have to be within the context of a limited series or some kind of complete and total retconning of their own new era, neither of which seems very likely. But hey, those are my thoughts. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you next time.